So this is a problem that comes up often. Someone sends you longitude latitudes that are in decimal, uh, sorry, in degrees, minutes, seconds. And what you need them to be in is in decimal degrees in order for this to work in ArcMap or in other GIS applications, Google Earth even. And so the trick that you can use to, sub to split these up is to select the file then if you go to data text to columns and on PC it's a very similar tab and text to column tab is going to bring up this wizard and with this wizard you can use this to split up your your values so in this one you can see that this looks like it's fixed width so I just hit next on fixed width I can choose where to drop these uh, little splitter lines and what you want to do is isolate just the numbers themselves because that's going to be what is most important and then you hit uh, finish and so you see what happened here is that it split up the latitude into pieces and then what you can do of course is just delete out the extra stuff And then here, you're going to put lat d, lat m, lat seconds. And then for the final part, you would want to convert that to decimal degrees. And so what you want to do here is make a new column at the end called lat decimal degrees. Um, do an equal sign that brings up the formula. Uh, ability of Excel to do calculations and then you want to start clicking and adding up these things so you say degrees I don't need to convert that so you say 30 plus and then you click on the 15 that one's in minutes so we're gonna have to divide that by 60 there's 60 minutes in a degree and then you push plus and you click on the seconds you want to divide that by 3600 because there's 3600 seconds and a degree. There's your decimal degrees. Once you have that formula you can use this autocomplete function by moving the mouse over this this part of the box. It turns into a little black square. You drag and it'll send that formula through the rest of the calculation. So now you want to do that also with the longitude. You might want to have some empty uh, cells over here because it's going to want to fill, fill in those cells and so for launch show you the same thing I select my values I say data on the ribbon data and then I click on text the column fixed width next I add in my little breakpoints to isolate just the numbers. I clean it up. And then I go ahead and name these long D, long M and long S. This one was trickier because this is going to be in the Western Hemisphere so you need to have this actually be a negative number. So instead of adding like we did with this formula we have to do subtracting. So I'm going to say equal and I'm going to put a negative sign and this value minus 44 divided by 60 minus my 18.46 seconds divided by 3600 and then I'll auto complete my formulas across and there you go this is your latitude in decimal degrees this is your longitude in decimal degrees.